Hello and welcome to Quick Tips 13 and in this Quick Tips we're going to be looking at how we can determine the first tick of a bar. Now finding the last tick of a bar is very simple. We, we simply use the statement bar status and in this case bar status 1 because we're talking about the first data stream and uh, what we see when we print the bar status 1 uh, on the chart is that most of the bars uh, bar statuses are equal to 1 returning 1 and that means that they're a, um, a tick in the middle of the bar but what we expect is that the end of the bar there will be uh, a bar status for 1 tick will be equal to 2 and uh, then what we'll find is the bar status goes back to 1 so if we just wait for a couple of seconds we should see that Okay, there we, we saw that uh, zip by very quickly and the next tick was one. But what the slightly confusing thing is if we right click on bar status to find out what it really means and look at the definition, you'll see that we get the following uh, definitions. Two, the closing tick, which we've just, uh, we've just seen. One, a tick within a bar, which we also saw. But the other thing we see is zero, the opening tick of the bar. But there is this little rider and it says relevant only for strategies using open next bar order actions. So what I've done is I've included one such action in the program. And uh, what I'm going to do is just uncomment it. And we'll see, first of all, that uh, we've got uh, intra order bar generation set to true and uh, what it's going to give us is a message saying that the intra order generation setting is incompatible with open export type strategies okay so that is uh, that is not compatible so let's just comment that out and try to uh, recompile uh, it incidentally we've also got once clear print log in this program so the, uh, the print that we see is is freshly generated and what you'll see now what I'm going to do is just clear that because what's happened is the uh, strategy was turned off when we had the the problem with the um, the intra order bar generation so what you'll see is you get just one line per bar this these are the bar numbers here but you will notice that the bar status is equal to zero well that is fine but we might not be uh, we might not wish to use such a order statement so I'm going to comment that out we also might wish to uh, have intra bar order generation set to true so what I've done now is and this is the way that I solve this little problem there's a few ways you could do it but what I do is I create a variable in an intra bar persist variable which I given now I've just given it a, a name of bar status LT which is uh, bar status last tick and what I do is after my print statement at the end of the program I set bar status last tick to be equal to bar status one. So when the program goes back round and runs itself again on the next tick, that is going to be equal to what the uh, the bar status was the previous tick, which probably sounds complicated, but if we uh, go back to the program. So what we've got, the bar status one and the, uh, the bar status previous tick one. And if we just watch this, what we'll see is that when we get to, okay, so let's just uh, try and hold it there we'll see that when the bar status is two the bar status last tick the next tick is equal to two and that is um that is the value that is actually the first tick of the next bar and if we just look at the bar numbers three five three oh and then three five three one you'll see indeed the bar has changed so one of the ways that you could find um, the first tick of the bar would be just to simply have similar syntax to this and just say if bar status lt somewhere up above the statement here if bar status lt is equal to two then do something on the first bar the first tick of the bar anyway hopefully uh, hopefully that will be useful to you